So today we're gonna to go over our hay process, the way we do it from start to finish. We won't go in, too in depth on anything, but we'll kind of cover the bases on everything. So we'll start in this field right now. We're actually belling this field. Um, it's coastal hay. We have a few different types of hay. We got coastal, we got Tifton, and we got hay grazer. We like to stick to the coastal usually, but we do, we do dabble in the other ones a little bit. After this field is done being belled, which in a few hours it will be, the first step we do, so within a week, we'll have this field sprayed with fertilizer and we'll have this ditch right here full of water and the way we irrigate most of our fields is we flood irrigate so we'll run a siphon tube over this ditch we'll just flood this entire field with water because they're all fairly level and it usually goes the highest to lowest down like that towards the bottom of the field so it really gets a good soak throughout the field and the ones we can't do that we have a pivot system if you want to know more about the pivot system we have some videos already on our pivots and stuff like that so you can go check those out but so fertilizer, water, right away. And after that, you just let it grow. Depending on the weather, here in South Texas, you can usually turn a field around pretty quick. It's real hot, you get water on it, this grass goes super quick. So once the grass is tall for where you believe it's ready to cut, we like to see about this much brown on the bottom of the hay. That's usually when we know it's a good time to cut the grass. That way when you cut it, the bottom is still brown down here, but you cut off right where the green starts. because That's about as low as your cutter gets. Um, so that usually is a good time to cut it and that's what we like to do. So we got a field right up the way. Let's go get in the hay cutter right now and uh, get started and show you what that's like. Okay, so once you got a field cut, what we like to do down here in South Texas, some places might be a little different because it's so hot down here. There's actually some days we can cut it. The next day we will tether it, which will be what we do next. And uh, the reason we tether it is to help dry the hay. It flips it over and it'll end up looking like what you have here. So instead of it being cut into all these rows, it'll tether the whole field. It just looks like a bunch of cut grass all throughout the field. And uh, like I said, the reason we do that is to help dry it. It exposes the bottom part of the grass that was upside down, flips it over and exposes it to the sun, helps it dry out. So typically, let's say we cut on a Thursday, usually we'll bell that field on our Saturday. But if it's super, super hot and a little windy, the wind helps as well. We'll be able to cut that field on Thursday and bell it Friday afternoon, which helps keep it really green, really pretty, and that's what the customers love. They love green hay, they don't like the brown hay. Um, so usually it's a two-day turnaround. Sometimes it's a one-day if we're lucky. 
So uh, let's go hop on a tether. We have a field right up the road. Actually, we're gonna go tether that, and then uh, we'll come back and get to raking this thing. And then once it's tethered, like you feel it is right here behind me, like you see, it's nice and dry. We're good to go. We'll bust out the rake tractor, which is my grandpa's in right behind me. There it is. And basically the rake is pretty simple. All it does is it rakes the hay up into the row. That way you can bell it with your round beller, your square beller, whatever kind of bell you're running. And you just rake it into a nice, clean row. So take a look at it really quick. And not really leaving any behind. I mean, it leaves very few little strands of hay behind. Rakes it all into a row right here makes it easy to bill, it makes the process really nice and simple. And then last but not least, I guess it's not even really last because you still gotta pick up the hay. But once it's all raked up, there's a bunch of different ways that you can bell a field. Um, we run a round beller. We got a round beller with an accumulator on the back which will hold three round bells on the back. We have a small square bell system, makes single square bells, puts them into an accumulator in the back of the square beller that holds 10 bells, kicks it out. We have a grappler that can grab all 10 bells. And then we have a bell baron that'll hold 21 pack bundles which we've got a grapple system for that we're gonna look at all that stuff we're round belling this field right here behind me but let's go check out some of the other square bellers and round bellers systems that we use Makes a bell as you saw. It's got one more spot, it holds one on the outside, one on each outside. It makes one more bell, it'll go to the middle, and it'll activate that back lever, which will then dump all three on the ground. It kicks in the back, and it dumps them out. So it kicks it out, and then that arm is gonna move it. That's kind of a lever, and there goes that arm. Smooth the round bell all the way across.
So that was a quick little how-to on how we bell our hay. It's fairly simple. We have a lot of tractors. You don't really need a lot of tractors. You can honestly get by with one or two tractors. It's just, you're gonna be taking a lot of equipment on and off and uh, we don't like that approach. It kind of slows us down. Uh, my grandpa has a thing against taking tractors off of equipment. He likes just to leave it on there. So the one we have on the hay cutter will just stay on all year long. On the round beller, all year. The rake, we usually keep it on all year. Every now and then our tractor will break. We have to replace it. But for the most part, that's why we have so many tractors. But that was a quick little rundown of uh, how we do the hay. If you guys enjoyed it, if you could subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up. This channel's got all various farming things from what we do with our kids' channels. Not really our gaming, but then the real farming stuff and everything in between. Also, if there's anything you guys want to see on this channel, let me know. This is a free channel. Let me guys know what you want to see. Thanks for watching.